Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Today is the 19th day of our training session. We are on the third last day, you can say, of the 21 day lockdown. Perhaps not because the lockdown has been extended. That's what the news is all about. Uh, but welcome to each one who's present here. I, I hope that you can uh, hear me well. Uh, in case you, you can't, uh, I guess now you can hear me well. So let me just give a shout out to all the people who are here. Shrutartha Maiti, who says good morning to me and also to the crow. Well, not yet met him. Although some pigeons have started coming in. So, you know, we tried to get rid of the crows and then the pigeons felt safe. They have entered. <laughs> well, that's like it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think now uh, you should be able to hear my voice well and everything should be okay. So today we have a very interesting subject on hand. Uh, in fact, we discussed a bit about it yesterday. It's based on the development uh, that we talked about yesterday. But today we are going to also speak about initiative. And it's a term which is a little bit difficult to make out completely. Like a lot of people have asked um, what is initiative. So I'll be explaining explaining it to you with the help of examples today and uh, the question about whether we'll be continuing these sessions in lockdown i think uh, a good day to answer that would be tomorrow because uh, i think uh, i have certain plans but maybe we'll change the timings because uh, these morning timings uh, have been I mean, a lot of people have told me, why don't you do it in the evening or why don't you do it at some other time? So maybe we'll, we'll try to look at something uh, that we can do, but not in the morning. But I'll come with the exact details tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Rishila Banerjee is the first contributor who says, I feel frustrated by cheaters at online chess. How to deal with this problem? Thank you. Well, first of all, uh, if you play on a good platform, uh, there are always cheating controls in place. I don't know where you are playing. Uh, and, and secondly, I, I remembered um, that there was once a player with whom I played a practice game. And um, he played all the moves of the computer, like completely everything, right from the start till the end. And I lost that game and I was feeling really, really bad about it that oh my god i lost that game um did he use the engine or so on and i had no way to verify but the moves he made were really fantastic that was a practice game and then we analyzed i i, I analyzed that game really closely and i tried to learn what were the best responses for myself and actually i learned a lot out of it i would say that um, it was like playing against a human but who played so precisely that I had to be really good in order to give him a fight and uh, I learned a lot and I from that point onwards it didn't matter to me if my opponent used an engine or not my main thing was to just play good chess uh, and to analyze the games after because finally you have to make use of what you learn in the tournaments that you play so that's how I feel it's important uh, by the way Mayur Gondalekar has an anecdote. He says, while playing the tournament, the online tournament yesterday, Chess Base India's fourth Saturday, there was a small earthquake in Japan. And so now he's played a chess game through earthquake. Wow. <laughs> and maybe you, you, your mouse slipped, yes, uh, when, when you were playing. So the earthquake led to a mouse slip. Okay. Uh, let's do a bit of... Uh, tactics for today before we go to the main subject yeah lockdown has been extended to 30th april in maharashtra that's true agastya i don't uh, 
uh, we'll see what what is to be done about that but let's start with a few tactics and here's the position and this one is white to move okay very tough very tough position at the start okay in west bengal as well says tinku saha virendra says are pgns with their pg are pigeons with their pgn please share their pgn also <laughs> okay nice one dibin john says all india not just maharashtra that's true so 30th april is the new lock until then so we have another 18 days wow okay queen b7 is correct as all of you have rightly pointed out excellent good job let's go to the next one this one is white to move i will try to be precise in your answers and please give me the complete variation well, i see so many known names here pankaj panchal advait vibhute vaibhav mazumdar ramya kesi neni that's a new name maybe how many of you for the first time in the class today 19th day but the first session quest siddhant vasist shri kumar mayur gondalekar yes these are all the names that have that i have got used to and and come every day that's wonderful mayur says you can do the gm norm with preparation with us in next 18 days yeah but i need a tournament as well queen c7 queen into c7 rook d6 but then just queen into d6 yeah yeah ilam parthi has got it right good job Yes, even Sagar Chess has got it correctly. It's my first session. Says Krishna Gelra. Okay, welcome. That's nice to know. Shri Kumar said, "I started coming from the sixth day." That's Siddharth for you, the boy who beat Nigel Short yesterday. Someone did mention. I think it was Shashank who said the thumbnail is very nice for today. well the thumbnail is from my tournament in world juniors in poland and okay maybe a story about that in a bit yeah okay so rook d6 is the correct move as has been rightly pointed out by many of you and then after king b7 it's very important to see rook into e6 queen into e6 check and then wherever the king goes it's a mate okay go to the next one this is maybe a, a lot more complex perhaps or not really this is black to move what should black play here Alan K Thomas yes of course you are you are here since the start i remember not to call you alan thomas but alan k thomas so what should black do here sack on b2 rook b2 king b2 queen b4 okay that looks natural and then how do we continue after king a1 or yeah king a1 maybe rook d2 okay is it is it mate then uh, or is there some defense for for white 
rook b2 king b2 queen b4 king a1 if now rook d2 then queen c3 does that work because i am kind of defending against everything for the time being it seems so many of you are saying rook into b2 king into b2 queen b4 check and then king a1 rook d2 but then i go queen c3 and i am wondering well advait advait has an interesting solution to this problem he says rook b2 king b2 queen b4 king a1 and now comes the key move so let's see if all of you can find this also ilamparthi has mentioned it uh, rook b2 king b2 queen b4 king a1 and now black to move what would you play well if you play first move queen b4 then i just go queen c3 i think that should be fine yes pankaj you are right pankaj panchal you are right um yeah mayur after uh, rook b2 king b2 queen b4 king a1 now if you go rook d2 there is queen c3 so if you there should be something else anup datta your answer what's your answer can you tell us rishila banerji very good you got it right not rook d2 but rook d3 well rook d3 um bishop d3 is there a mate i think it would be very nice if we play rook b2 king b2 queen b4 king a1 bishop b3 with the idea of queen a3 mate so take check and of course this is a critical moment and now you go bishop to b3 Uh, i think there is no way to stop queen a3 and queen a2 mate maybe he 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 can try to let's say do uh, this one here but then i think you can go rook d2 now seems good and this should be game over because if you went directly rook d2 which was the move that many of you suggested then after queen c3 i'm not so sure how to continue so try to always look at opponent's possibilities and try to come up with good moves okay this one is black to move looks pretty straight forward here doesn't seem very complex Arun Dikshit said I went to 2498 wow you were like so close to becoming a gm Mukilan Bala thank you so much for contributing 144 rupees thanks a lot by the way all of this money goes to charity uh, Mukilan there's also one more uh, thing I wanted to ask why do you contribute such odd numbers like yesterday you contributed 176 today 144 very interesting uh shubham kumar singh thank you for 50 rupees that you contributed how can we handle stress while playing the game i think i answered this question yesterday if you focus more on making good moves then you can handle the stress better than if you think about the results like i want to win for sure i want to score 7 points i want to gain 100 elo all of this shouldn't come in your head the most important thing is can i play the best move in any given position if you can hand if you can do that your stress would be under control so let's see who gave the right answer for this we have lot of people who gave the right move here ilamparthi um tinku saha pradeep das kushal jani haider yasmin Jan Daryl Batula Practical Thinking Vishal Kumar Shriyana Mallya 
Well, Pratamesh, maybe not knight b5 because I just moved the queen. Then what next? Not right. Um, yeah, the right move, Sumed Ram take a is knight into e4. Good move. And after queen g1, I hope you spotted that this rook is hanging here and you can simply take it. Okay, last position for the day. And maybe not so tough. How do you begin with and how do you finish off your opponent? Hemad Justin, good morning and welcome to the show. Yeah, the crow has arrived, Tharun. Crow also knows the answer. Well, we'll never forget the crow, yeah, for this these sessions. <laughs> It's like he there was always one additional person so if there were 300 people there were always 301 learning in this stream tech with yes you also got it right well do you first give a check on h8 or do you first take the pawn on d5 that's the question here yeah it's very clear that if you give a check on h8 then after king e7, knight d5, king d8. Uh, yes, you can win the queen, but even your queen is hanging on h8. So why don't we just begin with taking this guy? And then that's over because next move is checkmate. So that was a pretty easy one. By the way, we crossed 2500 here. Wow. Thanks to the help from all of you, uh, we crossed... Mukilan Bala says 64 rupees because 64 squares in chess today 144 because lockdown extended. Okay, nice. So we have to guess why you contributed a specific amount. <clears throat> okay, I would like to tell all of you that all the amount contributed goes against the fight of coronavirus, uh, goes to the PM Cares Fund and we have raised until now 3,19,583. The details of all the people who contribute via Super Chat is here, can be seen day-wise. If I have missed someone, please inform me. Uh, and here, pay you money. The link is in your description. Uh, I would like to shout, uh, give a shout out to Supriya Bhatt who contributed 1000 rupees on 9th. Uh, on 10th, Sharat Radha Krishnan who contributed 250. Yogesh who contributed 50. Krishna RV. For 500 rupees, Honi Arora, a young boy who attends the class um, for 33 rupees, Karthik uh, who contributed 1000, thank you so much, Ashutosh Bharadwaj who contributed 50 and Shamil Hanai who contributed 200. Thank you so much everyone for, for contributing, we've reached uh, close to 3,19,000 and hopefully we'll be able to raise few, some more money uh, in the days to come. Yes, an important uh, information by Anish Adiga. There is the BKT online chess tournament that will be held. This is by Buddhibal Krida Trust and this will be on 14th of April. The total price fund is 30,000 rupees. The entry fee is 250. All of the money goes to the a charity, uh, Prime Minister's Care Fund and Chief Minister's Relief Fund. You must know who this person is on your screen. He is none other than Mr. Prakash Kunte and he is the father of Abhijit Kunte, GM Abhijit Kunte and Brunalini Kunte and he has worked really hard to bring chess to a very very respectable level in Maharashtra. He has contributed a lot of money and Buddhibal Krida Trust, which is his trust, which is nothing but chess sports trust, is the one which is sponsoring this. So you can come here to bktonline.chessbase.in and pay your entry fee here. Or you can go to chessbase.in, which is our website. And there is a news on number here. Uh, and you can just click here and make the and pay the entry fee and it is on 14. There are already few players, title players who have confirmed. Alan Pichot, Gukesh, Arjun Gessi, Ronak Sadwani, 
Jahangir, Stani, Ankit Rajpara. Okay, so it's pretty strong list already. A lot of IMs as well. So I believe that this is going to be a great event coming up. I think we have perhaps already a few entries as well. Yeah, 34 entries. I presume we'll cross the 200 uh, entry mark in today and tomorrow. Okay, uh, one last thing I must mention uh, is opening encyclopedia which is a new product i believe some of you also got it uh, from here which is ideal for improving your opening preparation so all those who would like to work on your openings can get this it's just released couple of days ago uh, it has 1160 professional analysis by grandmasters uh, and also it has um, videos of nearly 10 hours by players like Pelletier, King, Erwin Lamy, Vidit Gujarati, Sagar Shah. Yeah, I have also a couple of videos in there. There are 230 new opening surveys and totally 6,888 surveys. And as I had previously mentioned, there's a video on YouTube which you can have a look at. Okay, so. No, you don't need to be a rated player, Nish and Neil, to participate um, into this event. Yes, so let's now begin with our today's session. I think we have had plenty of things to talk about, but we should do. Aditya Ramanathan says, my opening encyclopedia is downloading as we speak. Okay, wonderful Aditya. Well, I hope that your opening play becomes much stronger. You will have more ideas from the top players here. And uh, well, if anyone would like to go for opening encyclopedia, go to opening uh, online shop. And from here, just type opening encyclopedia and you can get it here yeah opening encyclopedia 2020 okay so today's game i'm going to begin with a very interesting battle and i'm not going to tell you uh, much about it right now but first let's start with the game i so i was um this happened in 2007. Okay, I'm going to take black on my side. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. Ah, Dhanushka Yappa says about the Nihal Sarin position. We are going to look at this today. e3, b6, knight e2. Bishop b7, a3, bishop c3, knight c3, d5, cd, ed, bd3, castles b4, knight bd7, castles, knight to e4, queen b3, takes takes rook c8 a4 um play f5 so tell me about your thoughts uh, so i was playing in this position with black what do you think about this move f5 here okay this move was played the last move was f5 what are your thoughts about it uh, is it a good move or a bad move okay uh vishal kumar says why don't you show e4 games well today we are going to talk about it yes the story about the thumbnail okay so i have to tell you this story when i was young uh, maybe around 10 or 11 maybe around 11 or 12 at that age just began playing chess i had this program called chess master 8000 i don't know how many of you have have had that and it was a brilliant program i felt because there were these annotated games uh, by by josh waitskin um, 
okay uh, i will i will speak about uh, whether this is a good move or not in a bit so i'll come to it <clears throat> so josh waitskin uh, was the commentator there i don't know if any of you used chess base 8000 or 9000 or 10000 and he used to talk about his games and in one of the games he spoke about world juniors or was it world youth and he said you know i played at the world juniors and my opponent was so and so and the atmosphere was tense and you would play in this hall uh, and there were so many parents waiting outside and all of that and you know i didn't know what world youth or world junior was i was playing inter school tournaments uh, but somewhere i felt like wow i should uh, someday play in world juniors by the way a big thanks to omkar gaikwad for contributing 40 rupees uh, and i didn't know how it would be like so i would imagine the inter school tournament itself as the hall of the world juniors and i would think wow someday i should go there and then in 2010 when i was actually 20 years old i played at the world juniors and this picture is taken there it was in poland and um, i played there with all the best players in the world in fact the person who won it is dimitri andrekin who became uh, a candidate later on played in the candidates there was parimarjan negi there were, there were so many strong players out there and and i remember that that feeling as a 10 year old or 11 year old where i was thinking about you know if someday i would get to play at the world juniors or such a world level tournament and there i was playing and this thumbnail picture is sitting right at the lake in the hotel uh, for for in poland it was a small town called kotowa where we played so i would say or to all of you look i dreamt of being playing a world junior and i got to play it maybe you guys should dream about becoming the world champion you know because if you dream big chances are there that it may come true so always dream yeah okay so now i'm going to come back and please i'm very sorry uh, many of you wrote to me about this move um, but i played f5 here so is it a good move or not if you can just write it again because i was saying the story and there were a lot of messages Prathamesh Divekar said it's a good move. One rook can go on kingside attack. The knight can go on e4 square. Okay. Suhas says I was born in 2010. Okay, Suhas. Maybe when I was playing in World Juniors, you were just born. Good move says Ashish Batra. Okay. Hemat uh, Justin says I'm too old. Well, you are not too old for anything. You know, always world senior champion. That gives you the GM title. Hemat. Uh, good move says Siddharth Vasishta. Ishir Narayan says F5 controls E4 but weakens E5. However, this is not troubling for Black. Why does no advantage? Okay. This move gains more space over E4, so Knight can easily hop onto E4. So this is a good move, says Sumed. Aditi says good because it st stops e4 and develops the bishop. Okay, interesting. All of Chanchal Ja says it's dubious. Kalidos says it's an aggressive move. Mm -hmm. Okay, any more answers to this? position anyone else who good move says say to minocha because it prepares rook lift and so on i think many of you felt it's a good move now i'm going to change the story a little bit okay now you you need to understand for yourself okay this is not me uh, that i'm asking but I was white in this position and my opponent was black and he played f5. Now tell me whether this is a good move or not. Does it change anything for you? You know, I told you I'm black and I played f5 and then you were like, yeah, this is good. Some of you did say it's a bad move. 
some of you are like good move how can sagar show a game where he made a bad move let's play f5 it's good it is an aggressive move it prepares knight f6 e4 he can even go rook f6 rook at 6 but then you realize okay that sagar was perhaps white here and he doesn't show his lost games <laughs> Do you still say f5 is a good move? Well, if you still feel f5 is a good move, then you have a lot of respect for static moves uh, and not so much for the specifics or the initiative or the dynamics in the position. Black really has no time to launch all of these attacks like knight f6, knight e4 or rook f6, rook h6, queen h4 because white has the initiative here and tell me a move that gives white the initiative here in this position white to move and take over the initiative i'm you are right that if i don't do anything if i make a move like bd2 you can go knight f6 if i play king h1 you can go knight e4 but i'm not going to play like that yes i'm going to take the bull by the horns i'm going to make sure that my opponent is not going to um, get what he wants and so, what should white play here? White to move. Yeah, queen c2 is possible, but then I go g6 and perhaps, yeah, you stopped rook f6, rook h6 for sure. Or then maybe to, uh, I could even think of queen f6, but m something more concrete. Yeah, I got the right move from, who is it? Uday Paideti, good job. Sumed Ramteke, Kushal Jani, Haider Yasmin, Rima Singh. Split rooks, uh, please write to us at chessbaseindia at gmail. We will fix your issue about filter button not working. Uh, Rima Singh is correct. Mayur Hegde, you are right. Practical thinking is right. Chanchal Ja, perfect. So, the thing is that in this position, Pranav Fadnes is correct. Also, Dandapani Kuppaswami, Mayur Gondalekar is right. All of you are right. The <clears throat> Many of you got it right. And the point is A5. Very good. And I'm looking at the a7 square and I am improving my position. By the way, a big shout out to Shashwat Anand who says, respect your dedication and love for the game. Chess Base India seems to be doing a good job promoting chess in India. All the best, Sagar. Well, thank you so much, Shashwat. $15 is a great contribution and uh, thanks a lot for, for the kind words you said about the work of Chess Base India and also what I am doing. Thank you. Now, one thing which I really want all of you to understand is that many times you get a position in a book and they say white to move and win and then you start looking at it. Uh, often when someone gives you a position, you are always looking for stunning moves. So there are always these hints given to you. But today I decided to not give you a hint. In fact, I changed my color and I said F5. Do you like this move? And at that point, you realize that actually many times a lot of your answers are dependent upon who is the player with the white pieces, who is the player with the black pieces, not based on the position. And this is what I want you to improve upon that don't think about who's playing, whether Kasparov is white or Anand is black or so on. Just focus what's happening in the position with all the imbalances that you have learned. Look at the minor pieces. Okay, white has the bishop pair. That seems like good thing. Position is not totally closed. Pawn structure. White's pawn structure definitely looks more superior to black because black has certain holes, you know, in these positions. What about uh, space? White has some more space in the position because of his queen side play. Then you come to material, it's even. Then you come to weak squares. As I mentioned, these 
these definitely look like light square weaknesses if i can exchange the light square bishop perhaps i may get something here also the e5 squares could become weak so on and <clears throat> when you do this really concrete calculation then you start becoming a better player and not when you are just uh, sort of swayed away by small things like oh he is white it must be good or anand is black and so on yeah okay so <clears throat> a5 was played in the game and here queen f6 was my opponent's move and i don't really like this move um, because now starts a combination believe it or not uh, which is how many moves deep i think <laughs> okay don't get surprised the combination is around 13 or 14 moves deep and leads to a king and pawn end game which wins for white okay okay don't don't try to um, kill me that i'm joking here i'm very serious I know I already played a prank on you by saying I was black, but this time I'm sure it leads 13 to 14 moves deep, leads to a pawn endgame by force. So try to think about it a little bit deeply. Take a, take a couple of minutes while I thank the person who has been a big support on this stream for day after day, Jaydeep Chakrabarti contributing another 400 rupees today. Jaydeep, thank you so much. Jaydeep, you should also tell us a bit about if you have made progress on your online, uh, sorry, on your DGT chess project, like DGT like chess project, where you are going to make a digital chess board, um, which is really very, very affordable. Uh, Ishir Narayanan, we will reply to you. Sorry that we have, haven't got back to you. We will do that. Okay, Mukilan Bada, uh, Bala says, one blunder nullifies 40 good ones. So he contributed 40 rupees. Thank you. Also mentioning why you are contributing money makes it easier for my curiosity level. Uh, Advait Vibhute says, everything is forced. Well, in general, it's like forcing in nature, but it's not like, if you don't do this, you lose a queen or something. It's more like subtle forced in nature. If you don't do this, you will lose a pawn. So you need to make the best move. Then you again make the best move and so on. Okay. Yes, Rima Singh says, you said you are going to do a class with Amruta, ma'am. Well, if we change the timings, I think it would be easier to get her. In the mornings, it's close to impossible. Yeah. Yes, Chanchal, you need a PC for the tournament. You can't play with mobile phone because it's you have to download the play chess software and that works only on Windows. Okay, so here AB6 was definitely the first move. Now I'm not going to make the moves. So we are going to do something similar to what we did in Pillsbury's class. Yeah, Pillsbury versus um gunsberg and ab6 so now if you take ab6 then i go rook a7 right and the problem is that after rook a7 the bishop is hanging if you move the bishop the pawn is hanging correct so that leads to problems big problems for black so, AB, CB has to be taken. Okay. Let's say if Ilam Parthi, how, how much close he's got. AB, CB, he says Queen B3. Now, Queen B3 after AB, CB means you are attacking the A7 pawn. Okay. So, the only way to defend A7 is Rook to A8. Correct. Because if you play, uh, if you play a6 i just take the pawn on a6 it's a free pawn so then 
as he rightly points out, bishop a6, very good. Bishop into a6, queen d5, queen f7, correct. So that's not good. So he won't take bishop into a6. What would black play in that position? So shall we go, go on over it again? Okay, Jaydeep gives an update. He says we are creating the online portal for this now which will allow the user to get their boards connected and play in leeches and if Mr. Daniel Wrench agrees, Tuesday will be showing a demo on him. So that means it will also work on chess.com. Wonderful. Wonderful. So if, if that works out, I think people can get the DGT like chess board, the sort of uh, which you make on the board and gets the most saved on your computer at a very, very affordable cost. Well done. It's going to be interesting and we hope to follow what's happening there. So, how does it work? A, B, C, B, Queen, B3. Now I'm threatening this pawn. So you must go rook a8. Now let's calculate more. Yes, Joel Jude, very good. You are right on the ball. You have to go queen c6, only move. Because as rightly pointed out, if you take here, then queen d5, here, take, take, take this, it's winning. Now, you can argue with me that, hey, but you said winning pawn up, but okay, this is just complete trivial win for a decent player. You know, this is a weakness. You put your bishop here, you put your other rook on c1 or a1 and just push through. So, bishop a6, now queen c6 was played and then what should I do here? Well, Jaydeep, everyone's asking you about the cost of that thing, what you're building. Maybe he will have a price soon. Uh, but queen c6 and now it's important. What's the next move? Telugu chess, tell me what's the next move here for white. You need to be forcing in nature. Make it forced. This is what initiative is all about. Our topic of today. Every move a threat. Every move a threat. Yes, b5, very good. All those who said bd2, that's not a big threat. You know, like, you need to create threats. b5, good. Queen c7, come on. Next move. Every move a threat. What's the next threat? Can you make... Initiative means not letting your opponent breathe. Just telling him, respond. Respond to my move. Respond to my move. Okay, let's go till the end blindfolded now. After b5, now what should white play? Reshu Jain says, today is my father's birthday. Very good, Reshu. Happy birthday. Ilam Parthi, you have got it till right, but let's say, how can your opponent stop you from doing what you just said? Yeah, I want you to... I want your uh, you want your opponent not to play that. Very good. Bishop a3. All of you are excellent. Now I'm not making the move. So bishop a3. Now black rook has a few squares it can go to. f7, f6, e8, d8, c8, b8. Yeah, interesting. Now I think we can look at couple of them. One is rook e8 first. So bishop a3. Rook e8. What do you play next now? Anyone here who can find the next move after bishop a3, rook e8? Okay, Jaydeep says 3000 rupees for the boat. Nice. That's affordable. That is affordable. Uh, Every move should be a threat. B5, Queen C7, Bishop A3, Rook C8, Rook Fc1, 
queen b8 bd6 very good aditya also ilam parthi had said the same move so do you think that black will do something so here if you play rook e8 then comes rook fc1 very good all of you are right many of you gave this move after queen b8 comes the stunning move bd6 because if you take the bishop i will take on b7 attacking your rook and also the pawn on d5 and you lose a pawn and that pawn is not just a pawn yeah it is really a very very important thing it gives white a complete passer on d4 and this one pawn blocks these two so you are like two pawns up okay so therefore what should be black's best move here in this position because you see the threat is rook f c1 bring the king queen in and then play bd6 so i want to i want to deflect the queen and then pick up b7 and pick up d5 so what should black play in this position yes pankaj you are right black will go rook to f6 all those who have found this move rook f6 you are absolutely correct rook f6 john darrell now what do you do next white to move white to move so you know the tempo of my class is also fast today because i want you to think like every move a threat initiative means there is no time to rest as all of you rightly pointed out tarun uday paideti sagar chess practical thinking pravinash chanchal sani deshpande shriyana malya dip all of you have rightly said the move rook f6 now white to move what do you do here next no time to rest yeah remember let's be in a hurry for a change hurry in the sense on the position yeah not in your calculations rook f6 rook f c1 well done well done now where will the queen go only square for the black queen yeah to save the position is next move queen b8 yes now after queen b8 what should white do now here's here comes a forcing line can you spot it white to move and win why not rook c6 before bd6 well prakar here after rook f6 come on what do you do here no rook c6 well it's possible but something better something better something more forcing it's very simple actually very simple now after queen b8 what should white play yeah bishop e7 possible but something stronger come on no one has been able to find yes no no hari nanda you are just giving up a pre queen queen d5 yes arun dikshit you are right your tactics training is helping you yeah your tactics training is helping you to get better um anyone else who's got it right sairam sampat very good sairam excellent who else shriyana bishop e7 rook e6 queen d5 what if i just take bd5 you just lose queen just like that who else yeah so few of you got it right even sumed ram take and practical thinking well done guys take on b7 take here and rook to c7 good move see you need to calculate this right at six moves before because everything was sort of forcing now take has to be played because there is no other move so now i take on d5 well rook f7 is kind of again forced because if you play king h8 i am anyway taking on a8 so rook f7 now i take here he played uh, knight f8 if he plays knight b8 then i take take and play bd6 attacking this knight and also next move coming in with my rook so he played knight f8 and here i played rook to c1 
queen moves take take and now rook c8 <laughs> rook f7 and this is going to be exchanged but no hurry yeah bring your king in bring your king in and now when he is threatening to move the knight take it take it and we reach a winning king and pawn end game with extra pawn and yes it <laughs> it was sort of forced yeah do you agree with me uh, i felt that this game uh, shows yes smile studio you said the same i agree many of you said the same things i'm sorry i cannot call out all the names but just be proud of yourself if you kind of found everything here and i can tell you that when i was playing i actually looked at quite a lot of this stuff it was 13 years ago so i don't really recollect but i know i was proud of this game uh, so let's go back from the start where we began first you must take here with the c pawn if you took here then rook a7 is very very powerful move uh, and if you move this then the c7 pawn hangs i was just thinking is queen c6 possible here or it doesn't work yeah i guess the the easiest way to to refute this would be to take take play b5 force him to go back play bishop a3 now let him move the rook somewhere say okay maybe he has to control f7 so rook f7 and then uh, rook c1 looks dominating yeah but still i mean it was not as forcing as felt it maybe there's something better than b5 here ah yeah maybe bish yeah i was thinking of bishop a6 ah bishop a6 works yeah maybe bishop a6 thinking like but rook a8 take here should be okay should be okay so he took with the c pawn here in this position and so i went queen b3 and now a7 is hanging so you must do something so you went rook a8 only move if you go a6 i just pick it up so rook a8 then you play bishop a6 now bishop cannot take on a6 because d5 hangs so he has to defend the bishop so he go b5 push the queen attack the rook now bd6 ideas are very powerful here so therefore rook f6 has to be played now i attack the queen then i take here and now finally rook c7 you see everything is forcing check have to take and okay he was a little bit helpful in the sense that he took it to the king and pawn ending but i think it is a really good example of what is initiative in chess f5 which looked really good move many of you said it is an aggressive move it prepares rook f6 rook h6 queen h4 it prepares knight f6 knight remember guys all of this will only happen if white is not alert about initiative in the position if white says oh i'm you know today is sunday let's play king h1 then you can be like oh let's get the rook okay today is now let's relax a bit and then you know you can start attacking but if white is like no today is a very important day i must get my play in and a5 then nothing happens what happens to rook c6 instead of rook c7 uh, in the position where here yeah rook c6 very interesting yeah this is suggested by sarvanan and i think even this move should be very strong because if you take here then just take this yeah this is very strong and then you take on c6 maybe what sarvanan mentions could well be the stronger alternative than rook c7 is there any any defense here for uh, for black d5 looks too weak yeah kushal will i'll tell you what's the better move than f5 <laughs> rahul rohit says how did you feel after the game well 
it was under 19 national second round so i had the third round in the afternoon so i went back and relaxed but uh, i felt good yeah it was a good game rook f7 looks like the only move sort of but then queen d5 and yeah uh, i think also very strong this position should be completely better you are right sarvanan Well, I'm going to show you today a game which I lost at White, so no, I, I won't always do that. I have showed a few games that I've lost, yeah, very bad games like the one against Sohan Padke, if you remember. Okay, now I'm going to show you one game that was sent today uh, by, uh, just one last thing, instead of F5, it is absolutely clear that in this position black must do something solid maybe play a move like c6 um, c6 or something but okay a5 is still very powerful uh, how about moving your knight to f6 i was thinking c5 but in a way it just opens up the position for my bishops uh, here oops not not queen c5 sorry rook b1 bishop here bishop a3 queen f6 rook fc1 and again this is a better position so yeah my opponent's rating was 1918 okay now i think maybe knight knight f6 perhaps looks like a good option but still i don't like the position a6 perhaps so that's to meet this with b5 trying to keep it closed a bit um that looks okay so the game that was sent to me yesterday on mail was by ilam Parthi, and this is a very very beautiful game okay and it shows precisely again i'm not going to tell you the color this is my trick for today if i tell you which color is ilam Parthi, you will be like you know He's going to win, so let us say he's better. But I'm going to ask you a question. Let me put it, flip it for white this time, okay? Uh, so that you are very confused whether he's white or black. What is his? Uh, what's going on here? Completely crazy position. King's Indian. You cannot... Uh, I mean, it's very clear, yeah, that this is a crazy, crazy game. But what's happening here? Let's make sense out of it. Let's use the techniques we have learned in this session to do something. Kubdia has contributed $5 and he says, Great work, Sagar. Keep inspiring. Give my regards to Sunil Kaka, Prachi Maushi, Prathamesh and Amruta. Well, this is someone who's definitely well versed with the Mokal family, my in-laws. And uh, well, now it's a big, big question to me. Who are you? Yeah, Please tell us in the comment section, who are you? He knows Amruta's parents, also his brother. So everyone says Ilam Parthi is white in this game. Okay. So before you begin thinking about all the beautiful mates in the position, I want an assessment. What is, yes, Kushal Jani has his eyes, eyes open and says, white is an exchange up. Guys, can you see white has two rooks? Black has only one rook. Don't go to sleep, yeah? Plus minus says Mayur Hegde. Mayur, are you using an engine? Because plus minus, you just say it without much thought chess master says if king's indian then i know black is ilam party mm -hmm. ilam party well you don't play d4 ilam party where are you <laughs> Mayur Gondalekar says, maybe let Sagar guess who the donor is, like he's making us guess who is playing who. Yeah, sure. 
uh well i don't think kubdi is going to tell us who he is here but if he does that would be nice <clears throat> so first of all no one says any imbalances everyone just says certain moves i would say firstly minor pieces white's minor pieces look pretty okay yeah black's minor pieces kind of decent i like this bishop though i like this knight and this knight is jumping but look at this guy on g7 he says i don't have a life you know it's a bad life behind he's under lockdown right now then we come to the next one which is um, pawn structure well pawn structure is nice i mean in a way white has a nice pawn structure black also has a beautiful pawn chain so i wouldn't i don't know about pawn structure it looks like pretty nice for both sides then let's go to the third one which is space and definitely i would say white has more space because of this pawn but black has kind of pushed his king side pawn and has more space there and then we go to material which i think is an important imbalance here because white is an exchange up white has a rook for a knight then we go to the fifth one weak squares you know you need you need to think about all these things any small hint will help you in your calculation yeah sumit and now chanchal have written about the imbalances also dharmaratne has written very good but let me finish my imbalances here weak squares i see that perhaps this is a weak square on h2 because kind of attacked by two pieces and only defended by two so should be kept in mind other weak squares not so clear but maybe this is always a weak square in such positions somehow these dark squares could become weak so i'm not very sure uh and then we come to the next thing which is initiative it's white to move here well i would still say black has kind of the initiative development doesn't count much because we are deep in the middle game and the last factor i hope that all of you remember this eighth point king safety you know silman in his third part of reassess doesn't mention this this is actually something i have added because you see that once you talk about king safety everything else starts becoming less important i say material like action down are but king is getting mated you're like okay okay doesn't matter action down you're like um pawn structure do you see why it has more space but king is getting mated okay doesn't matter space so you see if king is unsafe no imbalance matters that is the biggest imbalance in the position so in this position white made the move rook to c7 okay which is a mistake but i would say in this position the assessment is that white is better but very difficult to play with white when your king is under attack he has to play accurately maybe a move like queen c2 queen b3 something could be good but he played rook to c7 and now i want you to calculate uh a few moves here what should black play and this is really a beautiful beautiful uh move that black played here and calculate well sumed ram take as silman did add king safety in part 4 that's what i said this reassess your chess book part 4 which we have in the chess base india shop has been improved by silman a lot because after the third part everyone said but what about king safety and he said yes i will add it in my book subramanyam n yes all the previous classes are recorded on our youtube channel so you can have a look at it black to play and i would say checkmate his opponent Shristi Chede, good job. Mikhail Botvinnik, you are right. Rani Pooja, well done. Akash Pranav, excellent, excellent. Jan Daryl Batula, 
no jan daryl not that move yeah think more your first move is right but then continue i want you not just to uh just tell me one move yeah i want you to tell me more more in depth yeah yes first move pradeep das pradeep das you've got it right it seems excellent pradeep das i'm very happy proud of you to get this i think he's the first one who's got it all those who say bishop h3 good job guys but go deeper what if he takes the rook on f7 what if he takes the rook prakhar bajaj prakhar more forcing you are very close more forcing kubdia says keep guessing maybe i'll reveal it on day 21 out of 21 so keep tuned in guys nice kubdia that's nice if someone doesn't enjoy my lectures at least he'll come to know who you are so at least it becomes more interesting if i want to continue the class i'll tell you to keep your identity hidden for a few more days <clears throat> rima singh everyone very close to the answer but not very not 100% close yes sumed ram take has got it well done sumed i know you don't need to post paste it 10 times when you get an answer but you are right um arun dikshit well done you are right vandana bharadia i think vandana bharadia means it's yash bharadia if i'm not mistaken also aditya ramnathan you are right pankaj panchal close but more forcing more forcing you need to be okay suspense thriller <laughs> neetu singh says perfect suspense thriller okay so now i'm going to reveal ilam parthi was black and he played the stunning move bishop h3 his opponent was like what are you doing why are you giving me the piece we're like ah okay if i take this piece you will take my rook fine i will first take your rook and then ilam parthi was like let me take the rook with the king then he said no 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 i am going to checkmate you bishop takes g2 and now all the people who suggested knight g5 guys you need to be quick you need to checkmate with forcing moves anyone here everyone please what is the move black to play and win fantastic move i can't believe he actually played it in a game i'm very very jealous of him yeah to get such a checkmate in a game is tremendous yeah say to me nocha you are right reema singh perfect yes yash bharadia uh, that's your mother's account okay he's very strong player yash um, if i'm not mistaken you're from aurangabad yes and very talented boy did win a commonwealth medal i think gold medal if i am not wrong in 2019 in under 12 section yes queen h3 guys well done all those who found the move queen h3 excellent move uh, can't move the king back because this is a one pretty mate yeah with g2 so have to take the queen and then the knight jumps in says check to the king the other knight jumps in says a check again the king says if you go in i'm going to push you back and if it goes to f1 check king here and look at this beautiful mate ilam parthi take a bow this is one of the prettiest mates i have seen i think i have seen a similar concept in the kings indian but this is works out like a charm this is a dream mate uh, and i think if you get such a mate in your life this was an online game unfortunately but if it happens in an over the board game 
you should tell your opponent please wait i'm going to call the photographer to capture this moment and then have it for a lifetime okay so great game ilamparthi thanks for sharing it with us we are we are having some really good games that are being shown uh, i'm going to give you a homework for today this is also present on the chess base india ah yash says i'm from rajasthan and i'm under 10 commonwealth gold medal okay so you're from rajasthan and you're under 10 gold medal winner wonderful okay good we have lot of gold medal winners here uh <clears throat> this one was is your homework yeah this yes dynamic chess uh, reminds of the kid game by hikaru yeah definitely the, and also there's one game by kasparov i think i will try to look it up there is one definitely a game where you go queen h first go queen g2 king g2 knight h4 bring the king out and sort of checkmate him on the middle of the board rahul rohit says who is ilam party well uh, i think you need to go back to some of the sessions he is a big talent uh, in indian chess and by the way i have written a mail to him and i think is true for all talents that yes you are talented yes you are a very strong player but if you don't continue to work hard you won't really reach the highest level you must continue working hard uh, and then your talent actually merges in with your hard work and you become a stronger player as gary kasparov said hard work is also a talent all those who can work hard are also talented yeah this is the nihal sarin position and the homework for you is assess what happens after queen g6 check okay so maybe you can take a picture of this position or maybe you can go to chessbase.in there is an article there about this i have not revealed the answer yet my aim is to get all of you to to answer this thing here and if you can solve it that would be nice anish adiga uh, asks what is do cuts okay very interesting question anish ducats is nothing but or i don't know how you call it is it ducats is it ducats is it something i mean it is ducats i think it is basically a currency that is used on by chess base to play online to use the cloud engines and i'm going to show you one very interesting thing now you can see my board here now what happens oops i shouldn't show you the analysis ah, okay <laughs> so if you what happens is that top players around the world they want to use good engines to work with now if i open a board and if i load my engine here you have i have all these engines these are taking the power from my machine i have a laptop here that is using the power now it is say i i7 ninth generation i have a powerful one 32 gb ram uh, also it has a good G, uh, RTX uh, 2080 Ti um, graphics card. So all of this makes my computer good. But imagine you have a very basic computer and still you want the engines to give the right move. Believe me that all of this, you know, when you load an engine, you will see that there is this speed here, which is known as kilo knots per second. It goes to 7000. but you know when you use a powerful engine it can go as high as 100000 or 200000 which means you have an amazing machine but you know anand needs it players like vidit top level carlson everyone needs it now suppose you also want a powerful engine what do you do so chessbase said what we will do is we'll ask the people in the world who have powerful machines to rent them out so that every one of you can use it so if you go here uh in this on the chess base front screen here then there is something known as 
cloud and here there is a button called cloud engines when you click on cloud engines it connects you with all the cloud engines in the world now someone sitting in brazil has this engine very powerful one which he has rented out someone sitting in australia has rented out this engine and so i can say basically ah, i like this engine it's stockfish it is intel core i5 okay interesting stuff here i like this maybe i want something better what is the speed it is giving me um, you know i'll try to actually look at different engines i want to use say leela chess zero so i'll maybe click here and then it will tell me hey but you need to pay you need to pay to use it and it is ducats one ducat is eight rupees so if it is 0 0.25 per minute you can do the math not a very powerful mathem mathematician but i think it comes to two rupees per minute which is not very expensive if you do it for an hour it's around 120 rupees you get the most powerful engine and let's say i have i want to buy this so i say okay and when i say okay now i have already bought it i have some seven or eight ducats left so i'll be just showing you and now when i actually load a board here and i do the list of engines you will see that actually i also have this engine over here which is loaded where is it Ah, it's already started in some other uh, board it it starts directly let me just check uh, where did it begin um, here okay one second you shouldn't be losing out on money in engine is still in use force unload but where is the engine used? yeah here so, see this is LC chess 0 and I'm actually analyzing this position and it is being used and for every minute I used I have two two minutes uh, two rupees which is being charged to me but I get precise analysis I get great speed uh, by the way this is an AI engine so it goes to it's not the same as 7000 or something there's different metrics here but uh, I would recommend all of you who are seriously into uh, chess preparation. I, I left it. I spent 50.5 ducats, which is one rupee. Uh, sorry, four rupees. Okay. Uh, I would say try using it and try to understand what cloud engines are all about. Many of the top players use it and it's quite good. Okay, which is the best engine? I would say that currently AI engines, which is Fat Fritz, which comes with Fritz 17 and also Leela Chess Zero. These are good engines. There is also Stockfish, which is a brute force engine, which is also pretty good. So, Sarvanan uh, says, I've played against Stockfish. I think it's Nandan who's played against Stockfish. And what did you do, Nandan? Did you give a good fight to, to him? To him or to her? no not sure okay so now i have one last position which i wanted to share maybe i uh, too much of you know when i showed you my game against uh, yeah let me bring you back to the board here this one is my really shocker game which I got shocked in the games many in the game many times. By the way, for all those who want to buy ducats, uh, ducats, it's available in the Chess Base India shop. You can go there and purchase it. So e4, c5. All those who said, why don't you show e4 games? Yeah, and now you know that I am black. Uh, knight c6, queen a4. Knight d5. Well, Mukilan Bala contributed 111 rupees and says everyone by everyone will reach bigger one, which will help many ones. Okay, very nice, very nice. Mukilan, we are, we enjoy these sort of 
cryptic messages and also your uh, contributions very kind of you thank you so much uh, aditya is lc0 better than stockfish depends you need to use them in different positions and see the evaluations i know that in some positions lc0 outplays stockfish because those are natural attacking positions but then there are some positions where you have to calculate very accurately precisely and stockfish still trumps lc0 or fat frit so you need to have a balance but i think in the long run these ai engines will surpass the brute force engines so very soon you will have fat frits lc0 leela chess 0 and only these ones okay so queen e4 knight c7 by the way this was all my preparation uh and castles long castle now already you see very interesting position has been reached and i said to myself i must attack and so i played the move b5 so opposite side castling it seems like white has definitely more space here more freedom but i'm trying to gain some space i want to play b4 i want to bring my knight out bring the queen to a5 kind of get some play rolling so black white said okay my question to you is what should white play here isolated pawn says i believe that brute force will surpass in the long run hmm, surprising yeah i believe i believe ai let's see what who comes true maybe in some few years from now rahul rohit yes all super gms work with strong engines it's become a must okay white to move what will you play h4 very good sagar chess says is it necessary to read jeremy silman's amateur mind book before reassess your chess book i think i did the other way around i read the reassess your chess first then amateur's mind but both are fantastic books i mean amateur's mind is more like a story he gives a position to a student and tells him what do you think and then they start talking they are 1200 1400 1600 2000 and then all of them say their thoughts and that's how it it works yeah like uh, you learn a lot like how beginners think how intermediate players think how advanced level level players think uh virendra you don't play a move like knight b1 yes because if you play a move like knight b1 you are like saying to why black take over the initiative this position is all about who can reach the king first by the way a big thanks to mayur gondalekar who's contributed 124 japanese yen again cryptic everyone has this new idea of sending cryptic uh, amounts which we have to guess but i can't guess what is 124 okay we we'll let mayur tell us so h4 all of you said it right well done guys h4 don't take this pawn because if you take this it's just like you know opening up files rook b8 can come in also i can take take and move my queen to a5 so i get a lot of counter play so h4 now my opponent played b4 ah oh, sorry i i played bishop b7 my opponent played the move h5 uh and i was like man i'm i'm in trouble look at this rook it's opposite my king the queen is here bishop knight starting to feel you know nervous when someone uh when someone attacks your king you start feeling a little bit under pressure by the way keshav the winner has decrypted uh mayur's contribution says today's 12th of april so 12 4 124 is it right mayur <laughs> yeah also aditya ramnath and vidit da john da jan daril batula says what book is good to improve calculation well uh jan daril i'll tell you a few sources first is um perfect your chess by 
Volokitin and Grabinski. Volokitin is a strong Ukrainian player and Grabinski was his coach. If you have that book, beautiful positions in there. Just the kind of positions like we saw today with Ilam Parthi, you know, like very interesting stuff. Uh, then there is Imagination in Chess by Pata Gaprindashvili. Very good book. I like it. Uh, there is also Jakob Agard's Calculation book. That's a nice book. And then if you have really the energy, then you must begin with Tactical Play by Mark Dworetsky. Also, many of the books of Mark Dworetsky have excellent calculation material. And then you want to go to the toughest book ever then you go to Dworetsky's analytical manual. It's really tough and will help you to become very strong. But I guess it's not really required uh, right now. If you work with the first book, few books that I mentioned, that would be nice. Okay. So now, B4. So my opponent said, uh, you are attacking my knight, take it if you want, I'll take on g6. So he took on g6 here. And hg6. Well, Telugu chess, well, I'm sorry if I didn't read your messages, but I don't see you making any comments which are, uh, which, uh, which I could reply so carry on says when are you going to write your book I prefer maybe more than a book a video series yeah like if I can make a good video of all the material that I've been teaching here add good material it would be more interesting more lively I feel but yeah I want to write something on my games although they may not be the most spectacular games uh, but still I feel that <clears throat> I can explain them pretty decently. Shashank says brute force can never outplay AI in the long run. AI will learn from every move uh, that's done good or bad and will keep on getting better both positionally and time wise and it will outplay brute force. That's what I think as well. Yes. That's what I feel. Okay. So my opponent played the move bishop to c4. Fantastic move. Honey, it's chessbaseindia at gmail.com. Yeah, that's the one. Now, here, if I take b into c3, what's wrong with this move? Can anyone tell me? Sanchit, yes, Adiban will. I'll ask him uh, maybe today or tomorrow and we'll, we'll try to get him if he is free. I am Sagar. Can you please suggest the best way to train, develop our understanding in positions? I think definitely reassess your chess. And what we are doing here, I think that's really very useful. If you go through the material again, I am sure it will help you. Yep, queen g6 is what was coming up and it's a sort of a forced mate now here. So, Sagar Chess also mentions woodpecker method. Yeah, yeah, that's a good book for all those who want to improve your calculation, woodpecker method. Pradukta says, what's the difference between an IM and a GM? Well, I can tell you from my experience that usually GMs are stronger than IMs. <laughs> but if you are asking as to why they would be stronger and let's say why a player like me cannot become a GM or you can say I could but why have I not become a GM? There's always something lacking in a player. You know, no matter, even if he can calculate well, then he may lack positional understanding. If he can, you know, have really good positional understanding then maybe calculation is missing if everything is good he doesn't have nerves his time pressure is bad all of these little little factors can actually contribute to a player not becoming a grandmaster and um, at after a certain level chess improvement is a lot psychological 
as it is chess wise so right now i can teach you a lot of chess and you become strong but once you reach let's say your peak like let's say your level is 2300 you reach there then you need to really work on removing some of your psychological blocks like for example you don't like playing many openings you need to get rid of that bias you don't like to you know work on certain phases of the game you need to remove that in general uh, beyond a point chess improvement is very very psychological of course you have to always keep working on your chess but still uh, that's what i feel is many times difference between an im and a gm uh, gms have less things that they are bad at ims sometimes have more things that are bad at, and uh, that's what it is okay now uh i took knight into e5 in this position and my thinking was that my opponent will take on b7 i will take on c4 and yes it's a mess he will take on b4 i gave up a pawn but okay we'll play on this position but my opponent made a move which shocked me completely here so white to move shock me the hint is shock me here I, I was i was like waiting when will he take my bishop on b7 i came back and i went on this round and i came back and he played the move which i had not considered karan parik says i got the answer of nihal's position okay think deeper think deeper Tom Lasker says GM learn from IM well sometimes Mark Doretsky was an IM and lot of top GMs learned from him we have a we have a very good trainer called Vishweshwaran who is just an FM and uh, still is a one of the finest trainers in the country yes you are right John Darrell Batula Ilamparthi Soumya Mahesh mm, who else who else has got the right move chanchal ja pradeep das kimaya virle new patel yeah it was a shocking move pankaj panchal sanchit vishal kumar good job arun dikshit hari nanda arun dikshit you now cross 2500 so you will find these moves easily yeah in your tactics training queen into e5 was played in the game and i was like if i take this so mate forced mate on h8 you can't push your pawn this is pinned amazing yeah nice concept so i i was shocked here yeah. so i i said okay now i have lost a piece i must play 96 and now i hope that i can win this take this back and put my knight on g7 my opponent was unrelenting he took on e6 and the point is even if you take here there is still i think a mate check king f7 and now i actually thought during the game maybe i will be able to escape but then comes knight g5 king here uh and i guess we can finish him off with rook h1 here or first maybe rook h1 d6 he tries to run away yeah? so rook f8 king f8 and then go here and there's no way to defend against rook h1 and i had this bad habit when i was uh, around 2200 i would keep on um, i would keep on repeating my line like i would say no no here i must see again maybe i can win the queen but no there is nothing here yeah like if you take with the d pawn rook h8 is made if you take with the f pawn is check 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 and it's a straight forward mate but i would be like no there must be something and you know i wasted a lot of time so basically calculation had to be improved uh, so here i took f6 then after queen g5 b into c3 
he again made a good move so here once again white to move what would you play isolated pawn asks are you still working on your third gm norm for a later stage well very tough question for me actually i i would really love it because i predominantly love challenges uh, i really think a G, making my final gm norm and gaining 93 elo points which i need will be a quite a challenging task for me and if i can do that that would be really nice for just myself um, but at the same time there's so much more to do you know like there is there is a lot of things that indian chess needs chess has to be promoted there are a lot of things that need to be done and perhaps it there will come a time when i will make this decision um, for now i am not thinking about it yet yeah here uh, maybe bishop e5 is possible as you point out but then perhaps you have to yeah it it may be a good move but he played this move queen into g6 and can you tell me after cb king b1 what happens after rook into f4 i played rook f6 in the game but what happens here there is a way in which white wins this position and it's a very nice thing that you must remember sort of calculation wise it's an important theme white to move how can you defend uh, how can you finish off the game Uh, this opponent was Robel Legaspi. He, I think, from Philippines, two three one five at that point. Yeah, knight g five says Ilamparthi. Very interesting move. Is there any defense to that move? Or I have to resign. Ilamparthi, is there a defense to knight g five? All those who say knight g five, is there a defense there? Yes, Arun Dixit, you are right. You are absolute. By the way, Arun Dixit, is this your real name or you have some other name? Because I remember you telling me that it's maybe some other name. So knight g5, the issue which I feel is that white go black goes bishop e4. And then yes, you wanted to give a check and sort of mate me here, but the problem is this queen will be taken. So that is the reason why not knight g5 there is a more accurate way to win this position and that accurate way is uh, rook to h7 all those who found this pat on your back because now the threat is to mate him and if you go rook h rook f7 okay arun dikshit says his name is arun dikshit only okay good here comes rook d h1 and then pankaj panchal as you rightly pointed out this is a mate uh, and this is i think what will help you to improve your calculation which is move like this is much superior than move like knight g5 because bishop e4 somehow defends this position so rook h7 rook f7 and rook h1 no way to stop rook h8 mate uh, so in the game i played rook f6 he was so strong tactically you know he was look finding such tricks so simply it's very impressed by him i don't know what's his rating now maybe we should check it out yeah sorry for this small diversion but i'm really curious as to what is his rating now legaspi robel Fide. Don't know, maybe 
maybe I got his spelling wrong or what is it? Just Yeah, R H. Okay, R H O B. Well, he's still two two six zero, and he didn't become a, he didn't get a title. So you see, real monster in terms of calculation, but couldn't become an I M or a G M. I I mean, there are always certain weaknesses. If you don't work on, that would be. Yeah, this was in Kuala Lumpur. Correct at the Malaysian Open. Ahmed, yes. Uh, now, knight e5 was played. Bishop d5. Rook d5. Again, he was just too good. I mean, I had no chance. Bishop h6. And, you know, if, if I take here, he takes back. And then if I take back, there is a mate. Uh... He was just tactically too strong. I took here, I played e6, hoping uh, that something good will come out. But check, king f7 and rook h3. Next up is rook f3 and I resigned. So, I was just blown away in this game. But you can see how to b5, he didn't play a move like king b1 or knight b1. But attack, initiative, king safety, the eighth point of what we learned in the imbalances. This is what we learned in this entire session. But today we took a lot of look, uh, a big look at the initiative and king safety. If the king is not safe, nothing matters in chess. That's the most important thing. Okay. And here he, he was just phenomenal. He gave up material left, right and center. Even the queen, of course, it's not a very brutal trap, but still. You know, to play bishop e6 here, to see that all these tricks are working, it's just amazing. Someone said that maybe straight knight g5 is also possible, but then no, there is rook f6. So yeah, you must first give a check and then knight g5 and it works. Okay. All right. So i would take a, take your leave for today your homework is to work on the position by nihal sarin it is really important and remember that chess is a lot about improvement chess wise but also a lot of improvement psychology wise if you are afraid of higher rated players if you are afraid of unknown openings work on these things as well try to talk to yourself self talk is very important Tell yourself, I don't want to feel afraid of grandmasters, of IMs, of title players. You see an IM here, like me, got completely wiped off from the board. Yeah. Arun Dikshit says, your dedication towards chess is inspiring. I know that you will be a GM someday. Well, super GM, you say, hopefully. Anup Datta says, aren't you white here? No, no, I was black. This time I'm not joking. Uh, hope you can keep the time similar. Shifting it to evening. There would make it impossible to attend live from here. Don't get up before 9 p.m. IST. Uh, to no holidays here. Research university still on. Okay, I'll try to find a good time. I need to talk. Basically what I want to do in the second half um, is try to get some of the top players to to discuss at the same time raise funds for this initiative they are very keen on raising funds like what vidit did with the live streaming maybe someone uh, if it's possible to talk to adiban hari krishna ganguli harika hampi if we can get all of these great players on this stream and we can learn from them and Maybe you guys can contribute towards the the, the donation. Uh, that could be something interesting. If you find this is interesting, uh, let me know in the comment section. And maybe that after we finish, because my course was like 21 days. I planned it like that. And maybe the next half could be to get these top players and maybe they can show you something interesting. But still, we have two more days. 
to work with and we're going to do uh, something interesting even tomorrow i won't reveal it vishyanand yeah i'll ask him if he if he is keen maybe vishyanand but anyway let's hope and one more problem i always am really worried about is my internet connection because whenever i'll invite someone and my internet connection breaks off that would be heartbreaking for me so <clears throat> uh sumed ram take says in spite of not being a gm you are an you are a great personality in chess world you are my inspiration well thank you i i would say that you guys should write to me on the last day about how you enjoyed the classes we still have two more days and a lot to learn so we will keep these messages for the final day uh thank you but very much for this for today i hope you enjoyed it and kushal jani said how did you feel after this game i felt blown away you know i was impressed by my opponent and that's why you know today i wanted to see whether he became a gm or not but no he did not but i was very impressed by him yes anand is stuck in germany that's true that's true he's in germany and a uh, very tough time yeah to be away from your family for over a month now i think he was in mid feb he was there so nearly one nearly two months now um never have imagined that but he's a fighter and he always overcomes difficult situations so today as well <laughs> kavita naidu naidu says you only teach well hopefully we'll we'll get uh, good players maybe one day we can get amruta here that would be one of my biggest achievements uh well quest you ignited the love for chess in me well keep it going keep it going the most important thing is to be better uh, when no one is working you keep working no just be self motivated that's the most important okay take care and see you tomorrow at 9 am this is sagar shah signing off Take care.